What's up everyone? Today is going to be a little bit different of a parkour day because I got these little handcuffs that I'm going to put on myself behind my back and attempt to do parkour with handcuffs on. So this could be a way for you to run away from the cops if you like are getting arrested and you get handcuffed then you can learn how to do parkour with handcuffs on. I'm just kidding. I don't want to encourage any of you to do run away from cops because yeah that's that's not cool but anyways so here we got the handcuffs i'm gonna put them on right now and i'm gonna see what i can do right now we're just at this little park area skate park area to just uh practice some basic stuff i i haven't tried anything yet on these and then uh and then go from there maybe i'll film like a cool cop chase scene video with them i don't know yet still just figuring out how i can do parkour with these so here goes gotta throw them on my wrists Putting them on already, I'm like worried about my skin because if I'm doing parkour and these are like not very comfortable, it's definitely going to dig into my skin a little bit. So we'll see how that goes. Maybe keep them kind of loose. Okay, there we go. It's pretty good. They're in front of my body right now. So to do a proper parkour handcuff video, I'm gonna have to put them behind my back. But ah, I can cartwheel. <laughs> okay, anyways, here goes. came loose. <laughs> I'll just put it on like this. I'd have Matt help me but he's filming so. Now the other thing to keep in mind when doing handcuff parkour is that you're not going to have any hands available to you so make sure that you're extra careful if you do try this at home which I recommend you don't try this at home because once again it's dangerous because if you trip or anything you can face plant hard because you don't have your hands to stop that from happening. So anyways here we go let's just start out with some basic stuff maybe try some Precision jumps and uh, jumps and stuff. Haha! Oh, okay. The hard part with these is that because I can't have my arms in front of me, I get no momentum or thrust with my arms. It's all in the leg. So I probably look like an awkward duck or something trying to jump around. <laughs> okay, we'll go for this big one. Come around over here. My first parkour handcuffs, but we're gonna have to get crazier than that. So, um, next thing I want to figure out if I can do is if I am falling, is there any way I can roll like this without it being extremely painful? So, I'm gonna come in the grass here and just see see what kind of rolls I can do. Main thing, if I roll on the handcuffs, that's gonna dig into my arms and kind of hurt. But say I'm rolling. If I roll on my arms, it's not. <laughs> <laughs> the next trick after you've done your roll is getting up. <laughs> oh, there we go. Just gotta do the little back roll. Okay, got it. We're gonna head over to a park nearby and I'm gonna try a front flip and side flip, see if I can do this. So to do things safely, it's always about progression. So before actually wearing the handcuffs, I'm just gonna pretend my hands are back there just so I can get a feel for it and see what happens. Pretty sure it's gonna require a lot of leg kick. Get this around. <laughs> okay, I can do that. There we go, okay. All right, got the actual handcuffs on now. So woo, here we go. Gonna try and not land on my butt. Haha! <laughs> Wasn't too bad. Alright, got the front flip down, check. Now let's go for a side flip. Actually, let's try a precision jump into it. I don't know where I was going. <laughs> There we go, okay. This is good. Practicing on the sand right now, just to be safe, but now that I know I can comfortably do those, I can go find some cool spots, start incorporating it into some lines. So, here we go. If you want handcuffs for yourself, you have two options. You can either go to your local costume store and find them for like five bucks. They got plastic ones and metal ones. Or, if you want free handcuffs, then you'll have to find a way to get yourself arrested, and then, before the cop takes you in you got to be able to run away and as long as you can escape the cop then you you get away with free handcuffs 
you may not have the keys to them, but at least, you know, if you have a friend with a hacksaw, then, you know, you'll have broken handcuffs for free at the end of it. So, anyways, just keep that in mind. <laughs> Realized practicing with these handcuffs that they're starting to dig into my wrists, and so if we're going to be filming all day, that's going to become extremely painful. So I tried to find sweatbands, couldn't find any, got some socks that I'm going to cut up and just use as sweatbands to kind of protect my wrists from them, because I can. So, anyways. There you have it, homemade sweatbands, wristbands, for your handcuff parkour excursion. Ow! It still hurts to slap it on your wrist. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to attempt to do some rail strides, which seem very scary without being able to use my hands. So I'm first, once again, going to practice just trying to use my hands less to just see what it feels like. <laughs> I'm just gonna go for it because I feel like when I'm like trying to force my hands behind my back it's like makes it a little bit harder than just having something holding my hands back there and not having to worry about it. Okay, y'all ready for this? <laughs> Alright, first Handcuff Webster on concrete. Here we go. Perfect. Okay. Let's turn it into a line. Whoa. <laughs> Falling backwards almost. It feels so weird. I'm glad I've been able to do stuff. I was worried today, I just end up realizing I can't do anything in handcuffs, but I feel like it's going okay, so. All right, so I'm gonna do something on this log, but I gotta be very careful, because there's sleeping bears right here. Don't wanna wake them up. But I'm gonna try and dash vault right here. But I'm gonna practice without the handcuffs first, and then I'll try it with the handcuffs. Oh, that's so hard. <laughs> no handcuffs, so I'm just gonna put them on and go for it. <laughs> See what happens. <laughs> so I think I just need to be a lot lower with my body. <laughs> uh, I think that's as good as it's gonna get. <laughs> okay, let's try a reverse. Though. <laughs> yeah, that's not gonna work. I'd need my hands in front. So, anyways, let me try. Uh, so I'm trying to figure out a cool transition to get the handcuffs in front of me, but I know no matter what it is, it's gonna look awkward. So here we go, attempt one. Let's see what we can figure out. So we go down, go into a back roll. <laughs> Bring my butt through. <laughs> uh, okay, let's try this again. I think I almost had it. Oh. <laughs> Too much work. Yeah. 
<laughs> that was like starting out perfect. <laughs> yeah. So finally kind of figured out the rolling technique to get these in the front of my body. Then as I went to do a climb up in this little run here, ended up totally ripping this huge hole in my pants. So <laughs> I'll try not to flash too much to you guys through the rest of this video. Maybe go find some duct tape or something and just patch that right up and call it good. So anyways, watch out for ripping your clothing with handcuffed parkour. That's tough climbing without being able to cross your hands. It's pretty scary. <laughs> All right, so we are just about finished filming. It's starting to rain a bit. So it's been pretty good so far. I've been super surprised with what I've been able to do with handcuffs. Um, maybe just for fun, I'll go try a backflip off the wall while wearing handcuffs with it being in front. I don't think I'd try a backflip with my hands behind my back, at least not here yet. I'd need to try that in the gym first, but for now I'm pretty confident I could backflip like this. And, uh, <clears throat> I, funny thing is, I didn't know how I was going to put this video together, but we decided to shoot a little opening where it's as if I'm running away from the cops. So on my main channel, I'll have a little highlight reel of all this stuff, but the beginning will be like, give it a little bit more emphasis on like, you know, as if it's a story or something. But then from there, just do whatever. Anyways, yeah, let's go try this backflip. See what I can do, throw these cuffs back on. I'm super glad I had these wristbands because even with these on, like my wrists are getting bruised and hurting. So I'm glad I had them because otherwise I don't think I'd be able to last that long. <laughs> so here we go for the back foot. Da -da, da -da. Ah, yeah. That's how you backflip in handcuffs. So for the ending of the video, I'm filming myself doing day-to-day -day life with handcuffs because how else am I supposed to get them off? So anyways, this is my buddy over here. He's pretty grumpy and I got my handcuffs on. So I gotta figure out how I can take care of a baby Ugh, with handcuffs. I can pick them up like this. Oh, but see that's about it. Oh. <laughs> Don't try to take care of a baby with handcuffs. Doesn't really work. Here you go, it is pretty good. It's turning right at camera, huh? Here you go, you want some water? Ah, oh, so yummy. Uh, hey, buddy. Do you want some water? Ah, oh, there we go. Funny, baby. You're pretty cute. Uh, you just keep staring at it. Look up here, buddy. There you go. Here you go. You want some? You want some, bud? There we go. There we go. Oh. <laughs> Alright, anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this video. This is the behind the scenes of the handcuff parkour video. Um, but in this video, there's still some awesome stuff you got to see and <laughs> got to see my little baby attempt to bottle feed him. And it's just been kind of crazy to try it out. My wrists are pretty bruised, even with that, uh, with the sweatbands on and but it still helped a ton like I don't even think I could have done everything I did today if I didn't use those because my wrist would have been too bruised 
after an hour and I'd be like, okay, I can't do any more. So anyways, just keep that in mind if you decide to try using handcuffs in your parkour. But otherwise, remember, I'm not actually encouraging anyone to run away from cops or anything like that. Just a fun little thing you can do to challenge yourself. Just remember it can be dangerous, so if you do try it, do it safely and try it without handcuffs first. Just see if you can keep your hands in behind your back before actually using handcuffs. That way if you do fall or mess up, you can still bring your hands around to catch yourself. Those are my tips for doing handcuff parkour. I'd love to hear what you guys thought of this video and I'd love to hear some additional ideas you have for videos and I'll see what I can incorporate. But otherwise, be sure to check out my website for shirts to support my channels and thank you for watching.